The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with, with you. you. Welcome to this All Age service. Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God our Redeemer. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins, and assure us of his eternal life. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hello there. I'm Moses. I'm a shepherd looking after my father-in-law's sheep. It's a hard job, being out all day in the heat, making sure the sheep are safe and have plenty to eat. Today, I need to take the sheep to Horeb, which is on the other side of the wilderness, on a mountain to graze. It's so hot out here and not another house or person in sight. Moses. 
That's strange. Sounds like my name's coming from over there. Oh, it's the bush. It's in flames, but it doesn't look like it's burning. Moses, don't come any closer. You are on holy ground. You must take off your shoes. Who are you? Why are you talking to me? I'm just a poor shepherd. I am the father of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of Israel. You are not just a shepherd. You are Moses. I have a job for you. I have chosen you to lead my people out of Egypt. But I left Egypt years ago, and now I'm an old man. My people have been slaves in Egypt. I have heard their prayers. I have chosen you, Moses, to set them free. What happens if they don't believe that you, God, has sent me? Take the walking stick and throw it on the ground. Now pick it up. Show them the stick turning into a wriggly snake and I'm sure they will believe you after that. But I'm so shy. I don't like talking to people. No problem. As your brother Aaron loves talking, take him with you. Now go, as my people need your help to escape Egypt. Teze Gloria. Let us pray. God of constant mercy, who sent your Son to save us, remind us of your goodness, increase your grace within us, that our thankfulness may grow through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and undergo great suffering at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid it, Lord, this must never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan, you are a stumbling block to me, for you are setting your mind not on divine things but on human things. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay everyone for what has been done. Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. This is the Gospel of the Lord. What an amazing story. 
I wonder how you would have felt being, Moses, being in Moses' shoes that day. Surprised? Scared? Bewildered, perhaps? Especially as Moses was called from a bush that was in flames but did not burn. And being in the middle of nowhere, without a house or another person in sight, I think I would have been terrified. On investigating the bush, Moses did as he was told. He took off his shoes due to being on holy ground. Being on holy ground means Moses was in the presence of God. And even today there are some religions where worshippers take off their shoes before they enter their buildings. We have many different types of shoes which we wear today. Each pair is chosen for a different activity. Welly boots for washing the car, puddle jumping and gardening. We have trainers for sports and running. Walking boots for rambling. Flip flops and sandals for the summer. Each have their own unique gift for our feet and we choose which one to wear according to our activity. Moses also had a unique gift and was chosen by God to do a very special job of releasing his people from Egypt who had become slaves. God knew he was the right person to do the job, but Moses thought otherwise. Moses made up so many excuses as he didn't think he was capable of completing the task. Moses said he was too old, but God just said, I have heard the prayers of my people in Egypt and I have chosen you for the job. Moses' next excuse was, what if they don't believe you have sent me? God knew what Moses was going to say and was ready with a sign for Moses to take to Egypt. Moses was to throw his walking stick to the ground, which would turn into a wriggling snake and on picking it up would turn back into a stick. This shows God gives us strategies to complete the task he's given us. The next excuse was being shy, but God's plan for Moses was to take his brother Aaron with him to do the talking. God chooses the right people to do the job, like we choose the correct shoes for our feet. I wonder how often we make up excuses not to do something. Excuses as to why we can't do chores perhaps, tidying the bedroom, getting the homework finished, looking for a new job or taking on a volunteering role. I wonder how many of us have been prompted or chosen to take on a specific task but have made excuses as to why you can't do it and finally say yes and find it was definitely the right path to take. Looking back on my life, I can see I have been prompted to change direction at many times, but dug in my heels and said no. Then something in the back of my mind kept prodding me to move forward. I finally gave in and find myself in a much better place as a result. I wonder how many times that has happened to you. Have a think about it. Today's activity, we're going to paint a bush. So I've just taken this off the internet um, and we're going to use wax crayons to do the bush and then we've got watercolours to, to do the flames. And I'll show you what happens because it's magic. So I'm just going to do the brown for the tree. 
Now I do this quite thick or quite hard. All the brown bits. And now for the green. Going to do the leaves in green. take a lot more time over this. And then we take quite a wet paintbrush and we're going to go red first. And we're just going to do some red in the middle. And then an orange. Getting quite wet. a little bit of the colours. And then yellow. Let's get a bit more water. Little bits of flame here, yellow, and there is your burning bush with your wax crayons. Now, do be creative with this because you can do it, you can draw a tree and add tissue paper, or if you've got oil pastels. You can do a similar thing with oil pastels and blend the colours together. And you can be very creative and do a, a, a burning bush like this one here. Let us declare our faith in God. We, we believe, believe in God, God the Father, Father from, from whom every family in, in heaven and, and earth, earth is named. Is named. We believe, we believe in God, God the Son, who lives in our lives through faith and fills us with his, his love. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Darkness has come, there's something to die. 
I hope that you saw the message about bringing a penny to the service today. We're going to use a penny to help us focus on the prayers we want to make. If you don't have a penny, maybe you could pause the service and go and find one. But if not, maybe focus on the penny that I have here with me today. So, here is my penny. Let us pray. On this side of the coin, I see the head of our Queen. And it reminds me that our leaders in this country and throughout the world need your guidance and reassurance. Help them to listen to your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Closing my eyes, I tried to find the other side of the coin without vision to help me. This reminds me that there are people in the world that need to see a way forward in this strange situation that we are currently living in. Please help all those that have lost their way that they may be open to your comfort and support. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Opening my eyes again, I look at the front of the coin, at the portcullis. This reminds me of those that are currently in prison, those that have committed a crime and are serving their time of penance, but also those that feel they are a prisoner in their own home. as they shield or isolate. Please stretch out your loving healing arm that they may feel your presence in their loneliness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now, placing the coin on my hand, I feel the weight of it. This reminds me of those people that are weighed down with the problems of today's world and in particular, the issues that have arisen from the COVID-19 pandemic. Dear Lord, please protect them and restore their lives to fullness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As I hold the penny between my fingers and roll the coin around, I am reminded of this world that we live in. Dear Lord, we are living in very unusual circumstances, but you created this marvellous world and your creative genius can be seen in every corner. Help us to appreciate what you have entrusted us with and make us worthy custodians of your glorious creation. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For the kingdom. The power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. We are all one in Christ Jesus. 
We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.